This is the last one, I promise. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman, and in today's video, we're gonna milk this stereotype thing one more time. If you haven't seen the other videos, you might wanna go back and watch those first. Today, we'll be talking about some of the types of fishing and fishermen that you'll meet in various parts of the United States. And just like the other videos, if I don't mention your area, you don't need to leave a comment saying that I forgot about you. I didn't forget about you. I have access to a list of all 50 states, and I consulted that list before I made this video. If I don't talk about your fishery, it's because no one cares. Get over it. Let's start in California. That's a big one, so we'll break it down into smaller parts. Northern California. Your rivers are super tough to wade and don't have any fish, so you hop in your Tesla and drive to Idaho to fish. Or if you're smart, you're on the sack or out in the Delta fishing topwater. Moving down, Eastern Sierras, the ancestral home of water theft in the West. You do have a couple trout streams that haven't dried up yet, but they aren't that great, and you should probably just be carp fishing instead. Once you get up into the Sierras, of course you have golden trout. Neat fish, but you don't get any extra credit for catching them. You're not special. Oh, you walked a few miles uphill and caught a six inch fish? How about Southern California? It seems like there's a movie that comes out every other year about some young anglers pioneering carp fishing in the LA River. Meanwhile, that's been a thing for at least 30 years, probably a lot longer. Oh, you have trout fishing too? Yeah, we all know about Deep Creek. We all know that it sucks. And then there's the Corbina fishermen. If you think steelhead guys are the most pretentious fly fishermen out there, you should meet a Corbina guy. You could learn a lot from him because he's way cooler than you. Now let's move over to Arizona. Yeah, I didn't believe it at first either, but there is fly fishing in Arizona. The most well-known fishery is probably Lee's Ferry. You can get a bunch of 12 inch rainbows, but you're kind of hosed if you don't have a boat with a motor. You can also collect a bounty by killing a brown trout and saving a sucker. Arizona also has about seven Gila trout that you and your friends can take turns catching. But when I think of fly fishing in Arizona, I think of neighborhood ponds. Skinny bass, grass carp, and maybe a koi if you find the right place. Honestly, you're just lucky you can fish in Arizona at all. Next up, Nevada. Truckee River? Sure, whatever. It's all about the mid, dude. Boring. Sit on a ladder and stare at a bobber all day while getting blasted by the wind? No thank you. Oh, I can catch a big one? So what? I don't have anything to prove to anyone. Kudos to the fisheries managers though. Lahontans deserve special treatment and they seem like they're doing a good job over there. Now let's scoot on over to Missouri. They claim to be a more sophisticated version of Arkansas, but I disagree. Exhibit A, trout parks. You and a hundred of your mouth breather friends can follow the stocking truck and fill your freezer while wearing your Bass Pro hat unironically. The fishing is better in Arkansas. A lot better. Now we'll move up to what's called the Driftless. It covers parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. The Driftless anglers were maybe the most vocal about being left out of my other videos. They must be really proud of those nine inch brown trout. Oh, you have native brook trout too? When's the last time you actually saw one? I guess there's also cows and cow poop. Driftless anglers are the type of guy to own 15 rods and the biggest one is a three weight. I mentioned Wisconsin. Let's do the whole state. I think Wisconsin Wisconsin anglers fish like Michiganders, but they're glad they don't live in the mitten. Trout are kind of an afterthought for these guys because they have so many other cool things to fish for, but they gotta cram it all into a short season because both weeks of summer go by pretty quickly. Let's mosey on down to Louisiana. Redfish, that's Louisiana, right? This is the New Zealand trout fishing of the saltwater world. These guys don't know how good they have it. Big dumb fish and lots of them. Where else can you fight a fish, pull the hook, then throw it back out there and catch the same fish? This is freakishly common in Louisiana. But if there's one thing that Louisiana is good at, it's exploiting natural resources. The stuff they let bow fishers get away with down there is asinine. Kill a fish, then measure it to see if it's legal. That is messed up and sad. Staying in the South, let's do Alabama. Did you know that we have 47 kinds of bass? Again. Whoopity-doo! 
Uh, you also have an ocean. Maybe give that a try. All right, now y'all wanna do Georgia? Okay, yes, there are wild trout in Georgia and the big rivers have some pretty awesome striper fishing, but the North Georgia trout fishing scene might be the biggest joke in fly fishing. Rich dudes fishing an artificial river for stocked fish that eat dog food, and they're proud of it. Are the fish big? Yes. But if you're claiming these as trophy trout, we are all laughing at you. Not behind your back, to your face. Anyone taking the Sequoia River seriously is a clown. That's it, period. Except for kids and grandmas. Now we'll head north. We're gonna skip right over Virginia just to make you mad and we'll do New England. The New England guys need to get together with the Driftless guys and cry about how I ignored them. What about me? We'll do Connecticut first. If you're smart, you're fishing a pond for bass and pickerel. If you're brainless, you're out on the Farmington. All right, now Massachusetts. They probably have some freshwater fish, but the coast is where it's at. Blitzes of stripas, clearwater flats, and getting your fingers bitten off by bluefish. How about Vermont and New Hampshire? I can't remember which one is the capital of the other, but I know Orvis lives there. Brook trout, black basses, champ, and I'm guessing people from cities that you hate but can't live without because of their tourism dollars. Learn to embrace them. They aren't going away. And finally, we'll end with Maine. Big state, lots of water. Oddly, there are no fish in Maine. That's been pretty well documented. Don't even bother taking a rock. And we're finished. That's gonna be the last stereotype video for a while. These were a lot of fun to make and some of your comments were hilarious. Thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I'll be back as soon as I can with another huge fly fisherman video for you. Until then, go laugh at a North Georgia angler and stay huge. Now watch, some guy from North Dakota is gonna complain I didn't talk about fly fishing up there.